Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. We are back in Hebrews. We are to chapter 11 of Hebrews, reading the Word of God, maybe making a few comments. And this is a chapter on faith. Faith is defined, and we have examples of faith in this chapter. Well, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. You know, the Lord spoke, and it was. Verse 4, By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God. The next verse tells us how we please God. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. We've had lots of prophets and messengers of God warning people of things that are coming and that are here upon us in these end times. And there are people that have listened and they've prepared getting their houses in order for the times we are living in. But many others seem clueless that there's a problem in the world anywhere. They are just going about their lives like they did in the days of Noah. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whether he went, whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. I really love chapters like this where uh, they are bringing so many of the uh, stories from the Old Testament to us to remind us of the people we learned about in the Old Testament. And we are reminded of the entire story when we hear the little bit about how she walked in faith. You know, it's not that she didn't have some doubts at first, but she chose to believe. She also tried to help God out, which a lot of us try to do sometimes, and we get in his way, and we need to trust God. And if he's given us a promise that he's going to do something, we just have to wait on it for his timing. Don't try to push it through and mess things up. Verse 12, Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. These all died in faith, 
not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. I was singing a song about that today. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. Praise God. Verse 14, For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, an heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. By faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said, That in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith Jacob when he was a dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Well, we are looking forward to recompense. The Lord has taken good notes of his faithful people, and there is a good recompense for his faithful people. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians, assaying to do, were drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. <clears throat> you know, that faith has a lot to do with obedience, too. They were commanded what to do to go around Jericho those seven days, when to be quiet, when to shout. They obeyed. That was faith. By faith the harlot... Rahab perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, 
afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. God, having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. Praise God. What a privilege we have received. So many that have gone before us have paid a very heavy cost to stay faithful to the Lord and to promote the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, I don't know what will be required of us before we are taken up out of here. But I do know that the Lord knows how to keep us. He knows how to speak to us and give us the right words to say, when to be quiet, when to speak, if we listen. And we just need his leadership. And we need to hold on to faith. We need to remain faithful. And uh, the Lord asked before he went to heaven, I wonder when I come back, will I find faith on the earth? an interesting question will he find faith on the earth we see a lot of people that have fallen away we see evil at a level that is 